Every night our moon rises to illuminate the infinite darkness of the cosmos. Every night we appreciate her beauty. And every night she lies to us. To understand how, let's take a quick trip to the moon. Looking down at the earth, we see a bright side of the earth where it's day and a dark side, where it's night. As time passes, the rotation of the earth brings parts we haven't yet seen onto the bright side. If we wait long enough, we will be able to see almost the entirety of the earth's surface come and go. A wonderful trip with a majestic view, but time to head back home. Now from earth, we look up at the night sky. It is partially dark, so we turn on the massive light bulb we left behind on our visit to illuminate the surface of the moon completely. We can see its various craters, colors, and textures. A beautiful companion in the sky. Now we wait eagerly for the other side. Hours, days, years pass. And nothing changes. No matter which night of the year we pick, the moon will look almost the same. Sure, parts of it are darker or brighter depending upon which phase of its cycle it's in, but we are always looking at the same side. We never see the dark side of the moon. This is not some cosmic trickery to hide the moon's less beautiful side. This occurs because the moon is tidally locked with the Earth. This means that the rotation of the moon on its own axis, and its revolution around the Earth just so happen to perfectly cancel each other out. We have always looked up and seen the exact same thing. Tidal locking is not unique to the moon. Several planets and moons exhibit it. The four Galilean moons of Jupiter, Io, Callista, Europa, and Ganymede are all tidally locked to Jupiter. Pluto and its moon, Charon are both tidally locked with each other. They will spend their lifetime looking at the same thing every day. So, what does the dark side of the moon look like then? Well, on July 16, 2015, NASA's Deep Space Climate Observatory, orbiting 1 million miles from the Earth, showed us just that. The mystery of the moon now put to rest, we can turn our sight to a brighter outlook. The Sun. If you want to find out who would win in a fight between the Sun and 1 trillion lions, click right here. Be sure to like and subscribe to enjoy more videos just like this.